What is going on, YouTube people? Near Card the Comics here. Today, my question for you all. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom out there. Hard cleaning. Scam this. Scam that. Nonsense this. Drama this. So-and-so this. So-and-so that. But. Nonsense aside, yes, wax prices are out of control in some products. Quality control on some products is crazy. Tops forgets 101 stamps. First card nonsense. I'm not going to lie. It actually feels like we're in an okay spot right now. Does anyone else feel the same way? We have great rookie classes across the board. We have a great upcoming NFL draft to chase. The card prices, yeah, there's still fluctuations here and there. Stuff's still going down a little bit here and there, but nowhere near like it was. You know, I I look at the stuff every week, and, you know, you might see over a 30-day period a 1% drop here, 3% drop there, but then it goes up a little bit. I mean, like, the, the, the Lucas Silver, just to, to pick one at random has basically been the same price uh, almost the entire NBA season, give or take like 200 bucks on, on both sides uh, up and down. It's basically been floating there. And a lot of cards are like that. It, it, this to me feels like the most stable we've been in a while, at least from like a card pricing standpoint. I get, sometimes we get caught in our own little bubble of, you know, drama and nonsense in the sports card world but from a larger picture it, it feels like we're in a pretty decent spot shows are packed i mean absolutely packed transactions are going crazy people are buying into breaks left and right people are grading cards at all-time highs the general energy level the vibes if you will feel Pretty okay, in my opinion. Yeah, like I said, you can nitpick around the edges and stuff, and I'm sure Doom and Gloomers in the comments have already listed 14 things on why everything's a scam. But this feels the most stable we've been in a long, long time. Now, that being said, is this a trap or is this real? Is this Cryptos to the moon, it's backing up cards. Is it, this is the cyclical time of year where we all feel kind of good about everything and then it takes a turn as we move into the spring and summer. We'll talk about that in a second. Or are we just genuinely in a good place? My guess, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split the difference here. I think it's a little bit of both. I think generally speaking, we're in a pretty decent spot right now. I honestly think we are. Cards aren't going to the moon, but they're also not going to the basement either every other day of the week. If you, you know, buy a card of a relative star player or retired goat, it feels like the price on that card is going to be fairly stable, at least over the short term. Now, don't get me wrong, greater economic forces could come in and, you know, shake this snow globe all up, but that could happen at any point in time. The caution side of it is, is that we kind of see this process repeat itself every year. Post-Christmas, beginning of the year, spring is here, tax returns are in people's accounts, baseball season's on the way, the NFL offseason's heating things up. Everyone's been pent up. They want to get to shows after the holidays and everything. And there's this little three to four month period of jubilation and excitement before things slow down again. And on the screen, I have Margaret Weaver's Market Pulse. These are the SCI indexes. Uh, what they do is every year, they create a new one, and it basically has the 500 most, you know, important cards, uh, if you will. And the, the point of this is it kind of gives you an overall vibe on what the macro level market is doing. So if you look at the light blue line, that's 2023. If we go back to January... February and March of 2023 last year. What do we see? It 
picks up. We got we get upwards of up 7% in mid-February. And then as we move throughout March, it starts dipping down a little bit. And then as we move into the spring, it dips even lower into the middle of the summer. It dips even lower. It picks up again around the national. Excitement begins to build. Football season starts. It dips down again because all the hopes and dreams you put on young, crappy quarterbacks come to reality. It crashes down. Gets to its low point around the holidays as everyone's spending time and attention turns to other things. And then just like clockwork, so now you can see here, this is last year's index, the one down at the bottom, starts creeping back up again. And then here's the new index they created for this year, the dark blue line up at the top. What do we see? Starts out the year climbing, 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 climbing into the positive. So we are seeing this exact same pattern repeat itself over again. Now, the difference here is this year didn't get as high. You can see here this peaks at 3.8% to the positive on February 18th. Last year, it peaked 7% up. Now, that's not huge, obviously. It could be well within the margins of error here. Even here, on uh, if you use last year's index, uh, let's see, it was at negative 11.7% at the end of the year, and then it peaked up to 9.6%. So it's up a couple percentage points as well, pretty much in line with maybe lagging a little bit behind uh, the new redone index for 2024. But you see this exact same pattern playing itself out again, but maybe to a little bit lesser extent. So does that also mean when it dips, we also see it dip to a little bit of a lesser extent? That I don't know. But it does feel like we're in a pretty decent spot right now. It really does. You know, like I said, excitement's good. People are buying stuff. Card show's busy. Whole nine yards. There's always going to be drama. You're not going to get away from that. I don't care how good things are going. Unless we're back peak pandemic where card prices are going up 50% just because you bought it on a Monday and then it's a Friday and that's the reason why it went up is because five days went past. Back then, we didn't have a lot of drama and nonsense because everyone was too busy counting money. It's not the case anymore. So part of this is me just being genuinely curious. What do you all think right now? You boys and girls are out there in the mean streets of the sports car world. Are you feeling the same way as me? That it actually feels like we're pretty decent right now. That, that things are hunky-dory. Everything's just peachy keen out there for the most part. Or are you in the everything still sucks, uh, cards are going to zero, wax is super expensive, I can't afford to open anything, grading's a scam, uh, you know, card cleaning's a disaster, it all sucks, Everything, everything's garbage. Are you in that camp? Or are you somewhere in the middle? Or do you think in a few months we're going to sit here and we're going to see the normal summer, summer dip and then the rise back up heading into the national and then the dip again? Do we continue to follow this same cyclical path that it seems like we've been on for a few years since we've gotten out of the pure nonsense of the peak pandemic market and then the correction that followed thereafter. Uh, I know, like I said, I mentioned this on a Sunday video a couple weeks ago, even on some like rare higher end stuff, I was um, looking to spend some of my Com C credit and that Kobe X Fractor BGS 95 True Gem came up. Um, I put a bid in on that at about $500 more than the last, I, it hadn't sold for that price in a long time, the bid that I put in for it. And I figured, ah, you know what? I like the card. It's a true gem. It's the Kobe LeBron, uh, 08. I don't have that card yet. And if I'm going to get a copy, I'd like a nice one. My thought process being behind it was I like the idea that that card appeals to two collector bases. Kobe people want it and LeBron people want it. So it's a massing, massively appealable card. Everyone wants that card. If you're a basketball fan, someone's going to want that card. And I like the idea of that because part of me buying it was I also, I wanted the card, but two, I had outs if I wanted to turn the card into cash. So I put a very strong bid on that card. They they usually went for between thirty three and thirty five hundred. I bid like forty one fifty as my max, 
with 45 seconds to go or whatever it was. And someone came over the top and beat me. They took it for 4,200, which was the most that card sold for in, in that grade in a very long time. A few days later, another copy sold, slightly better subgrades. It was also a BGS 9.5, but it was a True Gem Plus, I believe. And that one sold for even more at like $45 or $4,600. And I've seen this tick up as well. Uh, and maybe this is just a LeBron specific thing. I don't know. LeBron's 03 Chrome Refractor, same thing happened. It had gotten, it dipped a little bit around Christmas time where I was eyeing them up. And then they spiked back up a little bit. Maybe it was the 40,000 point thing. I don't know. But regardless, I've seen the same with some other cards as well. Not necessarily a lot of it baseball, but that's to be expected this time of year. But I've seen it with a lot of other like 90s, early 2000s basketball, uh, goats, retired players, that sort of stuff. I've seen some, you know, not going to the moon, you're retiring off of it, but just strong sales on some of those medium to bigger cards. Now, part of that, maybe it is the crypto bros cashing out and, and coming over here to spend some money on pictures of cardboard again. I'm not smart enough to sit here and say what the economy is going to do or how crypto has these massive impacts on the sports card market. Their charts are going up. Ours seem to be going up. Sure, sure. People have more fake money to throw around at pictures of men in encased plastics with numeric grades on it that shine cool in certain lights. Maybe it really comes down to it's as simple as that. I don't know. But all I do know is sitting here as someone that attends some local shows and travels to some regional shows and looks at charts and graphs all the time and lives in the social media universe of cards, outside the normal day-to-day -day drama, which is always going to be there, things feel kind of okay. I don't know. This is much... As me pontificating as it is, I am curious for your vibes down below in the comment section. That's all I got for you, boys and girls. Curious for your thoughts and comments. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.